Honorable Chief Minister has, in fact, placed on record his appreciation of Minister for Industries, Sri Tangam Tenaras on his team, for tirelessly working for industry development of our state and who have made the state to be a destination for investors. Some of the major initiatives taken by government, of course, a lot of things happened. We can say that setting up of Tamil Industrial Guidance and Expert Promotion Bureau, then state expected to have around 2.27 lakhs jobs by investing 94,975 crores by 132 MOUs. State has attracted investment despite the impact of COVID. For the benefit of investors and other stakeholders, the guidance had launched exclusive websites to facilitate investment. Government also focusing to get food park, textile park and other facilities for manufacturing fertilizers, food processing and government manufacturing units in the southern districts of state including Trunel Valley, Theni, Dundukal and Murudra. Tamil Nadu government so far has brought out around seven industrial policies covering various state sectors. At this juncture, it is also necessary to mention the various measures or other steps taken by union government towards industry development across various states. To make India a global leader, the government has introduced PLA schemes for various sectors and thereby they wanted to achieve a one trillion digital economy as well as five trillion dollar GDP by 2025. PM Gaji Sakti, Emergency Credit Line Guarantee Schemes, Central Government also enhanced the state financial assistance from 10,000 to 15,000 crores. Now coming to the award function, the Council of Management of HCC, after going through various procedures and eligible entries has finally identified two awardees for business excellence and an awardee for service of humanity. HCC strongly believes that these type of awards will give necessary thirst to the industry development of the state and country. Some of the awards of the earlier years were Apollo Hospital, St. Gobin, Kaya Mills, and many more. It is with great pride HCC honors today, City Union Bank and Capital Point Laboratories Limited with Business Excellence Award 2022 and Madras Dyslexia Association with Humanity Award 2022. As President of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, I request Honorable Minister Chitangam Tendarasu to give more opportunities to Hindustan Chamber of Commerce to contribute its part in government's journey towards industrial development. With the great regards, I once again welcome Honorable Minister of Industries, Mr. Tangam Tendarasu, for this great event and all other dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. I request all to cherish this moment and make it a memorable one in the history of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now request Mr. C. A. K. Suresh, President of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to honor our esteemed Chief Guest, Honorable Minister of Industries for Government of Tamil Nadu, Ritangam Tenarasi, with a show. Thanks to our Honorable Minister and the HCC President, Mr. C. A. K. Suresh. We will now have the honouring of our awardees for the Business Excellence and Humanity Awards. We call upon Mr. V. Nagabal, President-elect Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to honour Dr. N. Kamakodi, Managing Director and CEO, City Union Bank. Thank you, sir. We now call upon Mr. Vijay Chaudhya, Vice President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to honor Mr. C.C. C. Parthivan, Chairman, Campaign Point Laboratories Limited. We now call upon Mr. Riaz Razak, Treasurer, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to honor Mr. D. Chandrasekhar, President, Madras Dyslexia Association. Thank you, sirs. Please be seated. If the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce helps us to build a better tomorrow, it is because of the support of these people who have stood strong like pillars and building blocks to this mammoth organization. 
this is a cherished moment to honor our past president of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. We humbly request our Honorable Minister of Industries, Government of Tamil Nadu, Tritangam Tenarasa to honor the illustrious past presidents of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. We request our past presidents to come to the desk and accept the honor. Shri Ashok R. Thakkar. and Pujara. Shri R. Subramanian. Shri N. Mahavir Chant Dugar. Shri C. A. P. G. Sadguru Das. Thank you, dignitaries. We will now have the presentation of the Business Excellence Awards. We commence with an audio visual of the City Union Bank. City Union Bank. It all started in 1904 in the bustling town of Kumbakora, where people invested not just their money, but also their trust. <laughs> and the Kumbakonam Bank Limited was born. The bank was included in the second schedule to the Reserve Bank of India Act. In 1954, the bank celebrated its Golden Jubilee. In 1979, the bank celebrated its Platinum Jubilee, completing 75 momentous years. In 1980, 
to leave our island, assumed office as chairman and chief executive officer. In 1987, the bank's name was changed to City Union Bank Limited, in keeping with its growing national image. From a humble beginning in 1904, the bank's deposits grew to 2,317 crore rupees. For 100 years, City Union Bank had continuously changed lives for the better by constantly updating itself by keeping pace with the changing times and using technology to enhance the quality of customer service. By 2004, over 96% of its branches were computerized. In the early 2000s, City Union Bank was also the first in India to introduce quads. After the untimely passing away of Sri Veena Rayanan in November 2004, Sri S. Balasubramanian, the then executive director, became chairman. Sri Balasubramanian carried forward the modernization process of the bank started by Sri Narayanan. By 2007, City Union Bank had fully implemented the core banking solution. In 2009, City Union Bank rose to leadership position amongst private banks. In 2011, on his superannuation, Sri Balasubramanian was appointed as a non-executive chairman of the bank and Sri N. Kamakoni took charge as the managing director and chief executive officer. Under Sri Kamakodi's astute leadership, the bank has surpassed all previous records it had set in terms of evolution and growth. A young, modern India took to banking like never before, and a vibrant City Union Bank marched ahead with them, offering them the best of customized products and services. Sri Kamakodi had identified technology as the single biggest differentiator that would set apart a customer-friendly bank from the rest. And for it to become customer-friendly, he ensured that it became tech-friendly. In 2014, the bank migrated to banks, the leading banking software to offer services that compare with the best. City Union Bank has been rapidly adding ATMs to help customers bank around the clock. The number of kiosks has grown remarkably. The bank has installed cash deposit machines and bulk note acceptors. Customers can also deposit cash in a bulk note acceptor without using an ATM card in these locations. And offer multilingual customer support 24-7. Interactive voice response system IV Arbus, a captive contact center, was introduced at Adhidamapuram, Chennai. Mobile banking also helps easy payment of electricity bills other utility payments and money transfers. Thus, City Union Bank successfully moved with the times in terms of technology, customer service, and innovative products and services. It's a bank that balances youthful vigor and traditional values. And it's a bank that has not only kept up with the times, but is also in sync with the hopes and aspirations of a young, New India, one that is ready to take us into the future, inspiring trust and promising excellence. City Union Bank, trust and excellence. Thank you. We now call upon Mr. Vijay Chaudhya, Vice President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to read the citation for City Union Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in reading the citation being awarded to City Union Bank Limited. City Union Bank Limited, headquartered at Kumbakonam, with main focus on lending to MSME, retail and wholesale trade, including agricultural finance, posted impressive growth in its deposits and advances portfolios. The bank's competitive advantages are its pan-India presence with 727 branches, strong capital adequacy with strong track record of continuous profitability and dividend payout throughout. Robust corporate governance and best client-centric policies have earned excellent credit rating from ICRA and Crystal. The bank transformed itself into a technology bank by adopting various measures 
लाइक ए टी एम कार्ड वाय मनी ट्रांसफर्स मोबाइल बैंकिंग नेट बैंकिंग फिटनेस वॉच डेबिट कार्ड एक्सेट्रा बैंक हैज़ अडोप्टेड न्यू इनिशिएटिव लाइक टैप एंड गो डी एच आई क्रेडिट कार्ड ईजी बाई डिजिटल लेंडिंग टू हैव एन एज ओवर अदर बैंक्स दिस साइटेशन for recognizing the bank's excellence in service in the financial arena for over 115 years of its existence and supporting industrial development by supporting msmes in a huge way city union bank limited is being presented with the business excellence award 2022 by hindustan chamber of commerce signed by the president k suresh dated 26 8 at chennai thank you thank you sir we now request our honorable minister for industries government of tamil nadu tirutangam tennarasu to present the business excellence award and citation to city union bank we request dr n kamakodi managing director and ceo of city union bank to receive the award Thank you, dignitaries. We will now have an audiovisual of our next awardee, Kaplan Point Laboratories. Thank you, dignitaries. We will now have an, an audiovisual of our next awardee, Kaplan Point Laboratories. Point Laboratories Limited This state of the art manufacturing facility near Chennai in South India has been established with realistic pride and strategic purpose by Kaplan Point Laboratories Limited in its enduring path towards greater heights Kaplan Point today is a listed public limited company it was established in the year 1990 by the visionary CC Partipan who preferred to tread his own path in 1990 we floated our capling point laboratories private limited mainly to manufacture ointments and creams and in 1994 we converted the private limited to public limited and approached the public Kaplan Point's initial public offering was oversubscribed by 117 times an unbroken record in the pharmaceutical industry till date. The entire proceeds have been sincerely deployed in the project with the result we had a facility to manufacture all kinds of pharmaceutical formulations in 1994. Like any other first generation businessman we also didn't do the right balance between consolidation and expansion. and it resulted in continuous failure that was the time i took the bags and went to countries where other people feared to go entry to west africa has given us actually survival for business the entry to south america has shifted the axis of being from survival to growth Being one of the few early Indian pharmaceutical entrants to Latin American market, Kaplan Point manufactures and exports dosage forms to West Africa and Angola also, with a well-charted roadmap for expansion to regulated markets like North America, Europe, Brazil, Mexico, South Africa, Russia, Australia, so on and so forth. Many make money, but few make money with respect. Here again we want to follow the road less travel make money with respect Kaplan Point Laboratories Limited all set to redefine its global vision in its quest towards new horizons through less travel pathways We now call upon Mr. Linesh Sanath Kumar Vice President Hindustan Chamber of Commerce 
to read the citation for Kaplan Point Laboratories. A very good evening to one and all. It's indeed a great honor for me to read the citation on behalf of our chamber. Kaplan Point Laboratories Limited, a fast-growing pharmaceutical company with a unique business model catering predominantly to emerging markets of Latin America and Africa, manufactures mix of generics, branded generics, specialty molecules, and injectables. The company has 4,000 plus product registrations across the globe with 650 plus pharmaceutical formulations and over 36 therapeutic sections, covering a wide spectrum across 23, 23 countries, the company has a diversified product portfolio with zero reliance on any single product or any single therapy. Kaplan ranks number one in India across all industries for R&D spend as a percentage of revenue on average in the past five years. Kaplan's DNA of remaining debt-free and self-sustenance is a highlight of increasing cash surplus over the years. The company's strong balance sheet acts as an anchor for the long-term vision. Kaplan, Kaplan has delivered a robust profitable growth and returns over the years and has consistently achieved their targets. This citation is for recognizing the company's excellence in the area of generic business, expansion of new geographies, widening of portfolio, and contributing substantially to the foreign exchange reserves. Kaplan Point Laboratories Limited is being presented with the Business Excellence Award 2022 by the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Signed by the President, K. Shuresh, on this date, the 26th August 2022. Please put your hands together for Mr. C. C. Parthibin, Chairman Kaplan Point. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now request our Honorable Minister for Industries, Government of Tamil Nadu, Tritangam Tennarasu, to present the Business Excellence Award and citation to Kaplan Point Laboratories. And we request Mr. C. C. Parthibin, Chairman Kaplan Point Laboratories, to receive the award. Thank you, dignitaries. We will now have an audiovisual of the Madras Dyslexia Association. Aridiram kurai venu piragi nai kambi. Thank you. 
you. We call upon Mr. Praveen Kumar Tatya, Vice President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to read the citation from Madras Dyslexia Association. Honorable Minister, President, other awardees, ladies and gentlemen, it's my proud privilege to read the citation for Madras Dyslexia Association. Madras Dyslexia Association, a non-profit service organization established in the year 1991 to take a pragmatic approach to helping children with dyslexia. The organization, functioning for the past two decades by providing remedial help and support to these children, their parents, as well as spreading awareness to the community at large, helping schools to set up resources room and conducting teacher training programs. The Institute continuously conducts training program to facilitate easy handling of children with dyslexia. The organization has developed MDA Awaz Reader in collaboration with Invention Lab and IIT Madras Alumni Venture using cutting edge technology. As this app uses the OCR technology to translate the text captured as picture into a readable format, it can be used to read any printed material, newspaper, textbook, and storybooks. This helps to develop independent reading skills in children with specific learning difficulties. MDA, a six-anum, a seven-week online course empowers primary school teachers to provide active support to children in their class with mild to moderate specific learning difficulty or dyslexia. This association created history by having success stories of Aditya, Akshaya, and many more through Ananya. The remediation program at the Ananya Learning and Research Center is carried out by a team of dedicated and trade special educator focused on building skills, channelizing energies, and nurturing innate talents of the child, thus ensuring a smooth transition to the mainstream school as confident and positive individuals. This citation is for Madras Dyslexia Association, which strongly believes every child is unique and should have individual attention, love, and acceptance. Every child is not only capable of learning, but also capable of succeeding. Madras Dyslexia Association is being presented with the Humanity Award 2022 by Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, signed by C.A.K. Suresh, President SCC at Chennai on 26th August 2022. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We request our Honorable Minister for Industries, Government of Tamil Nadu, Tirithangam Tennarasu, to present the Humanity Award and Citation to Madras Dyslexia Association, we request Mr. D. Chandrasekhar, President, MDA, to receive the prestigious Humanity Award. Thank you, dignitaries. We now call upon Dr. N. Kamakodi, Managing Director and CEO of City Union Bank, to give his response and acceptance speech. Chief Guest of the today's function, Honorable Minister Sri Tangam Trinarasu, the President of Madras Chamber of Commerce, uh, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, uh, Sri uh, President elect, Office Bearers of Chamber, and uh, both past and present, dignitaries uh, assembled over here. I uh, thank on behalf of uh, employees and management of uh, City Union Bank for the honor bestowed on us uh, today. And we assure that we will continue to work so that we will be able to present ourselves work for this award. City Union Bank being uh, had its established establishment in the year 1904 as a part of Swadeshi movement to support the local commerce and agriculture 
the founders of the bank and the employees who have worked in the bank from 1904 have ensured that our bank always has uh, lent a supporting hand to the uh, medium, small and medium scale, uh, 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 MSME industry. MSME, commercial trading and agriculture, they form the part of our breadwinners to whom our, almost our 75% uh, of our total uh, loan book is uh, uh, forming, comprising of. I once again, uh, I uh, thank you, thank the uh, uh, chamber for uh, uh, giving this honor. And also I take this opportunity to congratulate our uh, fellow awardees who have uh, been also getting the award today. The, uh, this, in fact, I would uh, once again, uh, I want to reiterate that this honor will once again, uh, uh, like say, give us extra motivation to do that. I dedicate this award to all the employees of the bank from 1904 to as on date, who are, uh, like say, uh, uh, understanding the vision of the founding fathers. They reinforce the uh, contribution again and again to this uh, MSME industries. I once again thank you all for the opportunity given. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now call upon Mr. C.C. Parthiban, Chairman of Kaplan Point Laboratories, to give his response and acceptance speech. Honorable Minister of uh, Industry, Siru Thangam Tenarasu, dignitary dais, dignitaries on the dais and outside, ladies and gentlemen. With your permission, I would like to say a few words. At the outset, I sincerely thank HCC, its members, and juries for this award. Once again, congratulations for the unique categorization of the awards in the form of a big heart non-profit company and uh, a SME-centered banker and also a profit, uh, for-profit SME. And a few words now about me and our uh, company. I came to this city 45 years ago as a job seeker. I used to be a rustic villager and uh, the initial salary was just 150 rupees. And I didn't even know the difference between pro-poor and pro-poverty. As you all know well, pro-poor will make you compassionate, but pro-poverty will make you poor. And in fact, I was a pro-poverty associate rather than a pro-establishment architect. Anyway, the books changed my life. The first book which actually changed my life was Think and Grow Rich. I still remember the two lines that I read in that book. You are poor not because of your father, mother, God, or society, but because you have no dreams and goals. Let us dream big and the details later. Let us not leave our dreams in our pillows and beds. Now, I would like to sum it up actually in three ways. Books are my treasure trove and the struggle which underwent is struggle is the struggles are my shape shifters. And the third important thing which is need of a business, differentiate or die. Even the distinguished companies will become extinguished if you don't differentiate. Finally, if you don't do, if you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want will be sacrificed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We now call upon Mr. D. Chandrasekhar, President, Tamil Nadu Madras Dyslexia Association, to give his response and acceptance speech. Respected Minister, respected office bearers of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, and ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Madras Dyslexia Association, I sincerely thank the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce for choosing us to give the Champion of Humanity Award. It's indeed a great recognition for the work being done by us for the past 30 years. Such recognitions and acknowledgement encourage organizations like us to enhance our capacity and deliver more to the society. We humbly accept the award I want to be very brief since the time given to us is very short. Dyslexia affects one in every six, going, six school going child. 
The typical dyslexic child is very intelligent with an average IQ of above 80 to 85, but cannot achieve his or her potential. MDA has developed a technique to identify and remediate these children and make them successful in their areas of intelligence. The techniques have been time tested over the last 30 years. The children who have been remediated by us have gone on to become designers, architects, lawyers, engineers, businessmen, <laughs> bakers, and web designers, and work in various creative roles. I draw your attention to the theory of multiple intelligences. Each of us has an assortment of following eight types of intelligences. Linguistic, all about languages. Mathematical, logical, all about mathematical accounts, physics, chemistry, everything. Then comes spatial, it's all about designs, drawings, architecture. Then bodily kinesthetic, your ability to flex your body, good sports people, good dancers. Then comes intrapersonal, people who are very strong in self-awareness. Then interpersonal, your ability to convey your ideas to the others, people who become good lawyers, good speakers. Music is one. And finally, naturalistic. Naturalistic is your ability to understand nature, plants, animals. So these are the eight intelligences, and we all have an assortment of all this. Every child is born with a certain amount of strength, say intelligence. We need to identify the presence of a particular intelligence in the child and work on it. One will become a sports person, another a good musician, and the third a good designer, and fourth an entrepreneur. You will be surprised to know that some of the outstanding discoveries and inventions have come from such people. They include Thomas Alva Edison, who discovered, who uh, uh, invented electricity bulb. Alfred Einstein, who created the theory of relativity. Richard Branson, a brilliant entrepreneur. Steve Jobs, founder of Apple. And closer to home, the Bollywood actor, Boman Irani. Yes, we can make a success of every dyslexic person. This is our motto. Failure to attend to these hyper-intelligent children will frustrate them and convert them into child delinquents, who will later on create social problems. And it's a very important point to be noted. It's a very big danger to society that one-sixth of the school-going children population has this problem, and it calls for immediate attention. Hence, it's very important for each one of us to know about dyslexia, understand and help every child who has this difficulty. I request each one of you to talk about this with all your friends and family members openly. I request each of the corporate members to adopt at least one school and help the dyslexic children to get remediated and mainstreamed. I request all corporate members to provide a part of your CSR support for the activities of dyslexia. I once again thank the Hindustan Chamber for awarding us and all of you for taking part in this award function. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We now request all the awardees to come together with your awards for a photograph with our Honorable Minister for Industries, Tiritangam Tenmarasu, and with Mr. C. A. K. Suresh, President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, and Mr. V. Nagapin, President-elect, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, dignitaries. This is the first time we have seen the first time. We have seen the first time we have seen the first time. We have seen the first time we have seen the first time. We have seen the first time we have seen the first time. Vice President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. This is the moment we have been waiting for. We now call upon Mr. Vijay Chaudhya, Vice President, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, to introduce our esteemed Chief Guest, Honorable Minister for Industries, Government of Tamil Nadu, Tiritangam Tennarasu.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in introducing the chief guest of the evening, Thiru Thangam Tenarasu, Honorable Minister for Industries. Honorable Minister for Industries, Thiru Thangam Tenarasu, was born in Malankinaru village, Virudhanagar district. He earned his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. As a graduate engineer, he worked with SPIC for about 10 years before his political plunge. Tirutangam Tenarasu has more than two decades of legislature experience. He was elected to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly five times, starting with his first electoral victory from the Arpukate constituency in the 1997 by-election. In 2006, he became the Minister for School Education, Sports and Youth Welfare, and Archaeology. As the School Education Minister, he implemented the Tamil Nadu Uniform System of School Education, paving the way for quality education for children. He was instrumental in introducing the activity-based learning in primary education and active learning methodology in upper primary sections. During his tenure, he has spearheaded the project of setting up Asia's second largest library, Anna Centenary Library in Chennai. Now, as the Minister for Industries, his ambition is to make Tamil Nadu as numero uno state for industrial investments in South Asia. He was lauded for handling the oxygen demand during the COVID crisis in the state. He is a voracious reader and a good orator. His interests include archaeology, ornithology, wildlife, numismatics, and Tamil literature. He also comes with the ability to read the ancient Tamil scripts in temples and museums. Tirutangam Tenarasu now also holds the portfolio of the Tamil official language and Tamil culture and archaeology department. Thiru Tangam Tenarasu. Thank you, sir. We now request our Honorable Minister for Industries, Government of Tamil Nadu, Thiru Tangam Tenarasu, to deliver his special address on this momentous occasion. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the kind words. Mr. K. Suresh, President of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Mr. V. Nahapan, President-elect, Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Dr. N. Kamakodi, MD and CEO, City Union Bank Limited. Mr. C. C. Pathiban, Chairman, Captain Point Laboratories Limited. Mr. D. Chandrasekhar, President, Madras Dyslexia Association, members of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, representative from the diplomatic missions, other uh, dignitaries of the days, members from the present media, ladies and gentlemen. It, I feel it's a great pleasure to participate in Chamber Day celebrations of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. Needless to mention that this is a momentous occasion in the annals of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. For me, this is the second time I'm attending a function organized by HCC. There was an old saying, but I want to really rewrite, as far as I am concerned, to my um, convenience. I must say now that fortune never comes single. For me, fortune has come to me twice. Once virtually, and today it is physically. Last time I attended, the function virtually, and today I have had the great honor of 
presenting myself physically before you and speak a few words. And uh, uh, the gentleman has really uh, showered encomiums on me, in fact, when he was uh, reading the introduction about me, and I would, uh, I don't know whether I truly deserve it, but I will definitely put in my best efforts to stand up to his remarks, I would say. So with these few words, I, would, uh, I think that I should now stick to my uh, text, ladies and gentlemen. The activities of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce is a remarkable one. The Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, HCC, deserves commendation for growing and adapting to times and for its foresightedness. On this historic occasion, I congratulate the present office bearers and past presidents and members for their contribution to the growth of HCC and also to the state and the society. Our state, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Thir M. K. Stalin, has made rap rapid strides in all spheres despite the COVID-19 pandemic, and we are very confident and working towards the ambitious goal of the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. I am pleased to learn that the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce is a membership base of large, medium, and small enterprises. The government of Tamil Nadu is extending all necessary support to the business community to sustain and grow their businesses. Today's awardees, City Union Bank, Kaplan Point Laboratories, and Madras Dyslexia Association are truly deserving, and the Chamber has selected the right organizations. I have no doubt that such of these organizations and industries will take the state of Tamil Nadu to the trillion dollar economy as envisaged by our Chief Minister. Chamber of Commerce is the backbone of development around the world. They are the one who convey in one voice to the policy and decision makers the requirements and expectation of the businesses. Today, the whole world is faced with a lot of challenges. Our state of Tamil Nadu, which has shown a lot of resilience in the past and has withstood many crises, is equipped to face the current tides. The responsibilities of the business houses have now changed from the single bottom line of making profit to work for the triple bottom line, the planet, people, and the profit. The chamber should act as a medium to channelize the corporate social responsibility, CSR, initiatives of the member companies so as to ensure inclusive growth for better results. I'm glad that the Hindustan Chamber has aptly chosen the theme Tamil Nadu towards a trillion dollar economy. The Chamber's focus to work for the economic development of the Tamil Nadu state reinforces you are very genesis and focused from the very beginning. The Chamber's role and responsibility should be manifold and in tune with the state's progress. On this wonderful occasion, I wish the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce all success in its services to the business and to the society. I take this opportunity to convey my warm felicitations to all the awardees President at CC, Mr. Suresh, and other office bearers and members of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce, and wish it grows from strength to strength in the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, when we were listening uh, to the speeches made by the awardees, we could all understand that they have come through so much in their endeavors, their journey which truly means they have uh, seen ups and downs during their journey, which truly conveys a message that life is full of challenges. We need to really face challenges, and we must accept the challenges in its right sense, and we must come emerge victorious. Again, with one saying, I would like to conclude my speech, tough times never lost, but tough people do. Thank you so much, my greetings.
Ultra. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. 